Second time in a year, China has ordered its banks to cut uh, deposit rates, what they pay people to, to leave money uh, at the bank. Uh, how significant is this, and is it only relevant when we see corresponding cuts in lending rates? Uh, yeah, first is that I do see that this is pre pre uh, probably a precursor for potential lending rate. It's more about like China banks' position because uh, China banks are always like guided to anti-cyclically uh, lending their loans. For example, like they need to uh, lend more during I mean, uh, the, the economic downturn uh, and also uh, focus on like leverage, uh, like lower leverage when economy recovers. Um, so uh, this time, I mean, I mean the economic decline, uh, the uh, cutting the deposit rate is probably preparing for potential uh, MRF and uh, uh, loan yield decline. When is that likely to happen? Do you think? Uh, actually, I think that because the PPI is still quite negative and the CPI, as you just, you just shown, it's still quite low. Uh, so in the next two months, I mean, in June and July, we see higher chance of potential MRF and uh, LPR cuts. But do you think that will help, uh, Shu Jin? Because a lot of the analysts and economists we've been speaking to this week have suggested that while it will be certainly welcomed, it may not actually you know, help the economy uh, meaningfully in the fact that there's enough money and liquidity in the economy right now. It, it's really crying out for more sort of targeted measures. Uh, yeah, I actually kind of agree that uh, it has little impact to the overall like consumption. Uh, but actually, it, it's because like uh, in China, I, I mean, the uh, uh, cutting rates is more like a signal showing that the regulator, the author, authority, top leaders, care about the economy so it's more about like um telling the market to uh or ask, or trying to uh, rebuild the confidence of the market rather than the real impact i agree that because um um because if we look at like i mean previously people are talking about like uh moving deposit back to uh, consume like saving less and consume more uh, but actually you know that in china the excess excessive deposit was actually contributed from the like uh list purchase of the houses and the list purchase of the wealth management rather than uh this consumption. So uh, on one hand is that, yes, I agree, it's had little impact. But on the other hand is that uh, we think it's a way to show that the authority uh, really cares about the, the market and trying to rebuild the confidence. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.